Hi everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the Baker That Sews and welcome to my channel. Um, welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are a subscriber already. Um, so today is a quick video hopefully because I've just received my Sir Hilly Jane box um, and my unboxing videos have been quite well received so I thought I'd do another one. So I haven't opened it, um, I don't know if Paley watched my other video because um, my sticker hasn't been fully stuck down and a couple of my unboxing videos I mentioned that I don't like having to unpick the sticker. I quite like the sticker being left whole, which is a bit ooh, a bit silly really, but um, yeah, I've managed to unpeel it without ripping it, which makes me very happy. So yeah, I thought I'd um, do an unboxing. I haven't looked at it. Yesterday over on Instagram, lots of people were sharing their hashtag so Hilly Jane unboxing rituals. Um, I was at work yesterday and I was very jealous of everybody that had received their boxes because mine hadn't arrived. When I got home from work, I was really hoping that it would be on my doorstep, but it wasn't. Um, but today is Friday and I don't go into work on a Friday. Um, the school's closed for a deep clean. So I work from home and I haven't got any meetings scheduled today, which is great. So it meant when this arrived, I could film my unboxing video so I didn't have to wait for all of my work to be finished. I can sort of do my work in between filming this video, which is great. So enough rambling. Shall I get started? And then at the end, I've got a couple of things that also arrived in the post that I'll share with you. So the box comes like this. I subscribe to the classic box. I'll put all the information down below about the different types of boxes that you can get. But there's the mini, which is £25 a month. The classic, which is £35 a month. And then the luxury, which I think is £65 a month. And I'll put all the information down below. And I'll also put a link to um, Haley's shop. So I'm just going to open it up. I'm so excited about this. So this is how it comes. Wraps in tissue. I'll just open the tissue. And there's always a magazine which gives you an idea of what the box is called. So today, uh, today, this month's box is called Knickerbocker Glory and it's the June edition. So that's how the magazine comes. And I can't believe it's issue 19. Wow. There's an awesome print from Ginger Doodles Designs. Look at that. And actually I've moved my sewing space, I'm filming in my bedroom and I've moved my sewing space into my bedroom because we've done a bit of a switch around so the desk and office space is now in our nook of the hallway um, ready for when my eldest daughter goes to secondary school so I can put this up. I think I might get that framed, it's quite a cool print. So that's exciting. Then we've got our fat quarters. So I'll show you these. Um, oh, that's cute. So it's got ice creams and ice lollies on and watermelons. And then this one is like dotty with love hearts. And like this reminds me of sprinkles. This one's got a lovely scalloped edge and it's rainbowy. And then another ice cream themed one, which is cute. I love this ice lolly with a little smile. Um, and I'm still making face coverings for families. So I think they'll probably get turned into some quite funky face coverings. A uh, couple of sweeties, lovely. I have got a very sweet tooth, so I look forward to eating those. Um, there's a zip, it's exciting, and then there's some trim that's been included. Love the colour of this trim actually, it's like a baby blue trim. Uh, some Gutterman thread, which you always get included. And then the fabric, it's quite a funky fabric. I think it's a cotton and it's just covered in pineapples. It's really cool. I love that. How cool is that? So fun. Um, so this I think will become some kind of dress. I love a dress. Um, the pattern's quite out there. It's quite funky, quite bright, which is right up my street. Um, it might become my favourite dress pattern, which is the Deer and Doe Myosotis. Or, because it's quite a structure, it's got quite a structure to it. So if I unravel it, I don't think it's got a huge amount of drape to it. This is going to go straight in the wash. Uh, it's got a little bit of drape to it, but not a massive amount of drape. So this would probably make a really good shirt dress, actually. And I've got a couple of new patterns that I sh shared in my fabric haul and pattern haul video, which I'll link down below. Um, so it might make a nice shirt dress, actually. If you're a subscriber and you've got the classic box with this lovely fabric, although I think the mini box get the same fabric, let me know down below what you're going to make or if you've had any thoughts, but I love that. Absolutely love it. And again, it's not something that I would have picked from a shop, but I do absolutely adore that. So thank you, Hayley, 
fabulous box. So let's have a quick flick through the magazine. So we've got the lovely um, Hayley saying hello to everybody. And it has been a crazy, weird few months. Uh, so yeah, she just explains why she picked the theme, but I won't, I won't read that out. There's an interview with Dorata Davies, um, which is exciting. There we go. Then there's the Make of the Month, which is this beautiful um, wrap dress, so the Hannah dress. And it is Gillian, who is Operation Green Drop. She made this gorgeous wrap, Hannah wrap dress. That looks amazing in that fabric. And then there's the Perfect Match Volume 2. So it's the lovely Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine again. And this month, Tamlin is putting her tips on matching fabric to the right pattern. And she's wearing her amazing Rita shirt dress that she's made. There we go. So if you're not following Tamlin, I'm sure you are. Go and check her out. Uh, one fabric, two ways. Uh, so Gemma and Laura are back. So Gemma made the Zadie in that lovely fabric. Oh, and then Laura made a skirt. I'm trying to see quickly what pattern she used. I can't see quickly, but she used, she made a skirt. Then we've got profile Jenny. So, so Hayley Jane subscribers quite often. Hayley will put a subscriber in here. So it's Jenny, who's been subscribed to the Classic Box for a few months. And there she is. And she is Crafty Jen on Instagram. And then there's the pattern picks by the fold line, uh, which is lovely. I love that because it really tempts me to get new patterns. There's a hat, sun hat, actually. I don't think I suit hats, but I might check that out for the summer. Hopefully we'll get some sunny weather. So there's the Polar Dress by Fiber Mood, the Greer Jumpsuit, jumpsuit by Hey June Handmade, and then the Soulis Hat by Pattern Fantastique. And I'm really tempted by these, but I think I've got so many jumpsuits in my life, I don't need another jumpsuit, so I'm going to hold fire. And then there's an interview with Ginger Doodles, who designed the lovely uh, picture here, which is gorgeous. So I look forward to reading that. And then Haley's little links there so she links lots of things that she's been enjoying watching reading or listening and then we've got um amy back with another puzzle i really enjoyed doing the puzzle last month actually it was really good and then just a couple of adverts so i look forward to reading that properly with a cup of tea later so on to a few things that i was going to talk to you about and the first one if i can get close enough is this amazing necklace it's a triceratops how cool is that? I love all the rainbow detail. And this is from a company called Jazzy Menagerie. I hope I'm saying them correctly. Um, and I discovered them through the Inner Haystack pack. Um, they always pick a company, a small business, and then you get a discount for them. And they're over on Etsy, so I'll link them down below. Um, but I went and had a little look and I got a bit carried away. Um, and it's my birthday at the weekend, so this is a birthday treat to me. So it's a really cool necklace, so I've got it on today. And then I ordered a couple of other things. So this is for my mum, and then I've got another one on the way for my sister. And I know that they don't watch these videos, so it's okay to show you. Um, she does these amazing little pin badges brooches and it says NHS superstar so my sister and my mum are both nurses and they've been working their socks off during the COVID-19 and they're still working their socks off so I bought them both a pin badge a brooch and it comes in this cute little box and I did have to rip the tape just to double check that it was that because then I also ordered myself some little earrings again birthday treat I think we're allowed to buy ourselves a little birthday treat aren't we oh and they are little stars that have got rainbows on or rainbows on, they're like rainbow sprinkles. I don't know if they're gonna show up properly, but um, yeah, they're cute little stars. They're so tiny, I don't wanna lose them. And they're like rainbow sparkles, they're really cute. I have got, I've got some earrings in here, which is like a moon and a star that my husband bought for me for our wedding anniversary last year. And I've kept those in. And then I've got these earrings, which are like a knot, like a silver sterling knot. And they're a friendship earring that my uh, couple of my best friends bought me when I left my job because we used to work together. And then I left my job and went and moved to a new school and they bought me these earrings. So I've got a second hole, but I've lost one of these. I'm really sad. So I've ordered some more because I need another earring to go in that side. So I think I'm just going to keep that one and then put the rainbow star on that side because I think odd earrings are fine. Um, so I just thought I'd show you, share with that, share with share that with you because they're really beautiful and they came so beautifully packaged so jazzy menagerie and i'll link them down below 
And then the last thing before I go is this weekend, not only is it my birthday, but it's the fold line, um, well, it's not just by the fold line, but it's the sewing weekender that would normally happen in August, but this year it's happening in June and it's online because of um, COVID-19. So we're not actually able to go to the actual sewing weekender and meet up, which is a shame because I went last year and I had such a blast. It was amazing. Really enjoyed meeting everybody. Um, so this month it's online. It falls on my birthday weekend, which is lovely. So my birthday's on Sunday. If I keep saying that, I'm really sorry, but I'm just excited. I love birthdays. Um, so I'm going to plan, well, I am planning to sew little bits over the weekend. Um, we're going out on Sunday. We're going to go to Kew Gardens for a couple of hours in the afternoon. So I'll miss a little bit of the sewing weekender. But I have got something cut out ready to sew. And I'm just going to hold up the fabric that I'm using. Um, so it's this lovely spotty viscose, which is so drapey. I've already cut it out. So, uh, And I'm going to be making the um, Tilling the Buttons Indigo with the extension pack and the ruffle at the bottom obviously with pockets too. Um, so I think that's gonna come up, sew up really nicely. So I'm really excited about getting that done. The weather's turned awful in London at the moment. We've had um, loads of rain, it's been really cold, it's been really windy, but I'm hoping that the sunshine comes back soon. And I think it is meant to be a little bit sunny at the weekend. Hopefully so I'll get that finished and I'll be able to wear it. Maybe I'll get it finished in time to go to queue. We'll see. So I'm wearing the Tabitha t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons and then I've got my Heyday dungarees on by Made by Jack, Jack's Mum in this lovely fabric from Felicity Fabrics. So it's a lovely corduroy in petrol blue and I really love the dungarees. They're really comfortable. I've got the bib pocket at the front and then I've got the pockets here sort of at the hip and then pockets on the bum as well. They're so comfortable and they um, fasten with this tie detail which makes them really comfortable. Uh, let me know also if you're going to, if you're going to, if you're joining in with the Sewing Weekender um, and let me know what you're planning to sew. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button. It's really lovely to have all of you watching my videos. Have a lovely weekend, take care, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.